testing, testing. Hey guys, welcome. It is 11.46 in the afternoon, June 15th. Um, and sorry. This is the second video of today. It's weird. There's somebody like literally watching me, um, but it's fine. That's what happens when you film outdoor public spaces. I just gotta like not care. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just like they can hear every word. It's so weird. Um, remember how we were discussing yesterday or just earlier today? Gosh, it's like it's only eleven. It's eleven forty-seven. Remember how we were discussing literally not too long ago that this morning, in fact, uh, about men and women and what makes them attractive. Okay, cool. He left. Okay, good. It's just me now. It's always like the middle-aged man, like a random solitary middle-aged man just like preying on me, watching me eat, or I don't know. He wasn't, there's nothing wrong with anyone. It's just, it is like literally always a middle-aged man. Like whatever the, like is going on, it's like, I'm alone and then it's a middle-aged man staring at me for too long. That's what it's just like my whole life. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I have seven reasons uh, what makes a woman attractive and then I have 11 reasons as to what makes a man attractive. Um, and as we discussed last week in that it's not about man or woman, it's about having a fear in God. And if we have fear in God, then we're making sure as an individual, whether you be a man or a female, if you're catching this vid, you know, hello, welcome to the Kimberly Ponce channel. If you're a man or a woman, you don't need to worry about what the other man or woman in your life is doing. You just need to have a fear in God. And if you have that fear, you're gonna want to fulfill your, your, your role as, as God speaks to you. Um, a healthy fear in the Lord, shall we say. So, I got my rock here. We're in Pelham. I went to my dermatology appointment. That was cool. I love going to the dermatologist. I love it. It's so cute. And it's a bunch of, like, women every time. And it's like, I love my dermatologist. She's, she's like, really beautiful, obviously. But, like, she's, like, really kind. I don't know. I just, I, I, I'm realizing that it has taken about two years and I finally feel like I have family here in its own, in its own way, in its own community. Um, and like, I know my way around and like, if somebody needs directions, like I could help them out with that probably. And like, it's just crazy. Like things do take time and I can't believe that I had the balls to move out here with like, cause now I really see how, so I'm so glad of my decision making. Um, and believing in myself and everyone told me don't move to New York everyone's leaving New York the crime is way too high and it's so expensive everyone was saying don't move to New York and I just felt like I needed to uh, share my jokes with people like so strongly that like this was the place to be and then comedy turned into gaining uh, confidence to perform music and that just blew my mind. That just blew my mind. The the way I have transformed and evolved since I've moved here is is glory to God. All glory to God. Um, and I'm really excited to talk to to you guys today about you know we got we we got some Bible verses too about um what is seen as a godly man and, and, and how God wants us to be godly men and godly women. So we'll refer to that as well. Let's see, the first thing that makes a woman attractive, it's her laughter. Her Like, it's a joyous laughter. When you, you know, you like have your family and you have your friends and say you're at a bowl game and um, there's like tension and stuff because like the coach is being kind of hard on your little brother and your uncle kind of like, you know, the family dynamics. But then you kind of hear like that one aunt and she just like bursts out laughing and then all of a sudden like, the tension somehow just dissipated like a woman's laughter is the most um 
I want to say healing. Uh, beautiful, most natural life force. It, it, it's just a woman's joyous, like an like an authentic, genuine, good laugh from a woman. It's like. It puts everyone at ease. Have you noticed that? So that's what makes a, that's the first thing that makes a, a woman attractive. A second thing that makes a lady attractive is her ability to remain her composure um, when she's handling life. You know how like good that looks when like you're not losing your, your SHIT, um, but there's a lot of reason to lose your you know, SHIT over life. So a woman who is able to keep herself composed and poised in the midst of um, hitting the fan, um, that's what you see a lot of, you know, if you, if you think about the woman in your life, you can think right now of one or two, three, who really holds the example very well and you're like they have a lot of reason to be stressed out but I never see them like that agitated you might see a little bit of the ruffled feathers you know from what from what they go through but you kind of think in your life and you, you you're kind of seeing like one or two a couple of those women that just like stay composed and poised no matter what they got going on um, and what that is that's God's peace that's filling that woman's body so much and her heart and her soul that nothing's really going to knock her off the podium. Nothing's really going to uh, run her out of her lane. She has God's peace and the Holy Spirit is guiding every facial expression, thought, laugh, emotion, uh, a compliment to somebody else, uh, interactions with others. Everything is peace and God's love and like that compass with that you'll never go wrong and so that's why a, a godly woman like that is what makes her attractive is like her ability to totally poke her face when she needs to um and just be like not rattled you know how like attractive that is um uh, so and that takes time and skill and most of all that it takes the fruits of the holy spirit patience gentleness meekness so on and so forth. The third is uh, the, her faith in God. That's, that's definitely <clears throat> made sure that was going to be one of the first couple of reasons that makes a woman attractive is her faith in God. get over how good it feels out here everyone was saying they always like try and put fear in us like it's gonna be a heat wave stay indoors and then it's like fun it feels great uh, it has this never felt better like this is beautiful you guys oh I love summer months so we see Proverbs 31 15 17 she wakes up early in the morning, cooks food for her family, and gives the servants their share. She looks at land and buys it. Um, other versions is she also rises while it is yet night and gives meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. And another version is before dawn she is up and stirring. I love that. I love that. I feel like, you know, it's, it's like um, a woman who's so restless with ambition she's up before dawn and up and stirring like I just to be ready for her daily occupation like that's that's beautiful uh, the fourth what makes a woman attractive is her loyalty to her partner loyalty is very attractive loyalty is like you know what we you know that's what everyone's deep down wishing for is finding a loyal partner And, um, vice versa. We'll, we'll get into what makes men attractive, but that's definitely on the list for men, too, you know? Um, and, you know, loyal 
loyalty. The ability to go away for two weeks and know for a fact your boo gonna be a good girl. You know? You want a good girl. You want a good girl. You want a good girl. If she, if she you know, you, you say you is the man and you unexpectedly crash and, and, and burn financially uh, in the, the, the boss man just some something happened and you know you're gonna find out real quick if that's the girl for you or not she might just be with you because you're money which a good loyal girl what makes a woman attractive uh, what makes a woman a godly woman is like no matter what the man is going through she's gonna she's gonna be What's the saying? Ride or, ride or die, right? Like, that's your ride or die. Um, no matter what the man is going through, she met him. She liked him for him. I feel so passionate speaking about this right now, and I have no idea. Like, I just felt that for some reason. <laughs> uh, loyalty. I mean, gosh. It almost feels like a lost and forgotten endangered commodity like is it still doable is it still possible people have loyal relationships still um because you you just hear about so much of the uh running around and sneaky sneaks and you know uh people getting their kicks from other people that aren't in their relationships and um loyalty man like you want a good girl loyal, loyal girl for you that, you know, you can just know without a, a, a shadow of a doubt that if your financial situation were to change or if you're, if you're, if you say you're in the spotlight and you got canceled or something like that, like, you know, the world will paint your man in a certain way that makes it seem like he is the enemy. But if that girl is for you, she's your loyal girl. Um, and that's what you want you know, that's what I think men, you know, really, I think they really value a loyal girl. Um, the fifth, the fifth reason or factor that makes a woman attractive and I'm talking to you, baby, girl, you watching this video, man, you watching this video, pretty gentleman, dude, sweet gal chick. Um, this is all for you guys. So thanks for being here. The fifth, her ability to diminish, to diminish tension in the air because she is so enjoying, um, so genuinely enjoying every single moment. Um, it's like she has a, because she's literally like, she like, so you could be, um, this is the great thing about women. Oh, our, our energy is naturally, you know, feminine, obviously. So what, what does that mean? I mean, that's like the flower in the middle of thorns. A feminine energy that is like aligned and she's she's taking care of herself. Um, she's happy with where she's at. Like she's gonna be a gal that is genuinely enjoying moment to moment to moment. So naturally when she shows up, if there is any tension in the room, it dissipates just because she's there. That's how high of a frequency she's running at. It's the presence of that kind of like unmatched energy um, that comes from women. That's it's um, you know. I mean, we can definitely come into the room with our own attitude and sass and energy that you know, like that, 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 that like brings more tension or whatever. Like, of course, we're capable of that. But I'm saying. Like, the girl that is flowing and authentically, genuinely enjoying moment to moment, no matter what room she walks into, people will notice her and people will notice that her vibe is so high, they kind of forgot what they were even mad about or what they were just thinking about. Uh, the sixth thing. She consistently opts for encouraging and... Oh, no, 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 sorry. She consistently opts for engaging and acknowledging the silver lining. Uh, 
Oh, Shania Twainsies. Alright. So, she consistently engages in and, and engages in and acknowledging the silver linings. Um, and that, you know, that's really attractive because no matter what you go through in this life, there's going to be mistakes and there's going to be bummer times and there's going to be seasons that are dark and dismal and desolate. Um, and those are all guaranteed with every single milepost of success that you reach. But the higher you go, the more echelons you move yourself up into uh, to like experience that same level of darkness. You can't go high without experiencing that same level of darkness. It's just not how it works. Uh, it's a spiritual force in this world. Ephesians 6.12, we fight not against flesh and blood, but against rulers, authorities, cosmic powers, and spiritual forces of evil. So when you are following God and your destiny and your mission as a woman, there's going to be so many. I mean, people, that's why most people aren't doing this, like, thing where you follow God with your entire life and you give up your life for him because especially as a single woman that's who the devil and Satan loves to attack the most because he's a coward and it's uh you know women are more vulnerable as targets especially when we're alone and so when a woman is able to put that all you know on the back burner and instead choose to acknowledge the silver linings that's a beautiful heart this is a woman with a beautiful heart. You want a girl who has hope in her heart. If a girl is able to find the silver linings in her life, you bet your bottom dollar she's able to do the same thing for you. Like that girl is like, uh, like positive, contagious, positive energy. That woman is gonna bring that into that man's life. That's attractive. Uh, 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 happier times, joyous times, laughter, joking around. That's attractive because you're having a genuine, compatible time with somebody. It's really, you know, yeah. Notice how all of these, by the way, have nothing to do with looks. Just saying. The seventh thing. And the last thing of what makes a woman attractive, I'm so excited to share this point too. Because I. Oh, uh, uh, guys, it just. Okay. Ooh. She capitalizes on resources currently in her inventory. Um, you bet your bottom dollar, baby, that's attractive. If a man gives you, say, say a girl, she's with a man, right? And that's her man. He gives her 20 bucks. She makes 60 off the 20, as an example. She doesn't see it as a finite source to request and then deplete and then do the same thing the next day. She sees it as capital to make more capital. She sees it as the starting point to manifest abundance. That's just the start of it, which is the opposite this is, by the way, this is, so this is a godly woman. Oh, this is a godly woman who, who makes more money with the money you give her. So say, you know, you as a man, you got that income. She's not just like depleting your, your hard-earned money. She's taking what is there, what she's, al what she's allowed to have, what's given to her, what's allocated to her, what she is, um, earns, whether it's uh, something that was like decided or allocated or on a monthly basis, whatever. Like she will take that and respect the sweat and blood and tears that went into the physical cash being in that bank account. It's not just, oh, I made, I, I, I worked here to this point. I'm good looking enough. Like I'm entitled to this man's money because he's my um, partner, spouse, etc. Like. No, she does not see it that way at all. She sees that as something that should be taken lightly, or excuse me, like that she sees that as like this this is money that shouldn't just be like um frivolously spent. She's not frivolous with 
that income that's her man's at all. She sees it as capital to make more money for their family, for generations to come. She's thinking, as a woman of the household, how can I make this money that this man is in my life for right now and he has money? How can I make the money that he has earned and turn it into generations of wealth for our children together? That is a godly woman. That is an attractive trait in a woman. And then we see in Proverbs 31, 15 through 17. Um, well, this is just 17. She uses the money she has earned and plants a vineyard. She works very hard. We'll just read the whole. Um, Proverbs 31, 15 through 17. She wakes up early in the morning, cooks food for her family, and gives the servants their portion, their share. She looks at land and buys it see again thinking towards the future and generations to come she looks at land and buys it what do you what what would you ever buy land for so you have it for the rest of your generations to come land is something that is always like she's thinking forward she's not just thinking about getting using the money to get her her nails done and, and have facials and lattes and frappuccinos every friday and margaritas with the girls on tuesdays at happy hour she's she, this is not that kind of woman she's the she's the godly attractive woman that uses money as capital to make more wealth to to take care of her family and 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 sustain her legacy and she uses the money she has earned and plants a vineyard she works very hard so i love yeah i love um talking about the saw and just like reversing re- referring back to bible verses and um those are seven reasons of uh, what makes a woman attractive and in a, in a, in a, like a, a righteous, godly woman um, and kind of like traits that I think uh, God intends for us to engage in, like using the fruits of the spirit and um, Proverbs is all about how to be a godly woman too. So I think we're pretty much at time, guys. But the next video, for sure, I won't hold out on you at all. I have all the reasons right here. We'll do 11 reasons of what makes a man attractive uh, in our next video. Yeah, so peace out, guys. Love you. Stay safe. Stay blessed.